Good morning. It's Friday morning. We've just got back from the car boot. I've got my office. It's just an absolute tip again. I've been working on it all week, trying to get stuff listed and put away. And yeah, this is what we look like. So yeah, I need to work on that. I need to get some listing done. Um, and I want to do some gardening today. I've not been in the garden at all all week because I've either been working or the weather's been shocking. So at the moment, sun's shining. So I'm going to quickly have a tidy up, get a few listings done, and then I'm going to get out in the garden, hopefully. Daughter's leaving us today. She's going to move into her house, start her new life and all that. So exciting and nerve wracking all at the same time. But first, tackle this mess. We didn't get loads today, but we did get some okay stuff. I got some more Evesham, um, Royal Worcester. Probably will go in my booth at Borough. Um, nice big fruit bowl. We got some prints. I tend to leave my husband to do all the prints. There's three of these sort of illustrated old army ones. And then some, I think these are all from like London. Not sure. Um, yeah, but he'll do those. I bought quite a few clothes, so I'm not going to show you those because that's a bit boring. Um, <laughs> that vintage cheese dish thing. It's weird because I had something really similar the other day. It's weird how you see one and then suddenly you start seeing more of the same sort of thing. I got some old vintage bedding. Um, a couple of lamps and this bag. This little cat having an afternoon tea. Okay. I don't know how you pronounce that. Sakia, Kakia, Sakia. I don't know. <laughs> Any sort of combination like that. Yeah, and some clothes to add to the pile of clothes that I need to deal with. Right find a couple of things to pack. There's a load of parcels already packed. Darren doing some listing. Jenny helping. Darren bought this this morning. Cut on a hot spur mirror. Right, I have sold this cute little monkey jug. Um, it's got palm trees on one side, monkeys on the other. Sold for a decent amount of money, that, so that's good. And then, out here, I think. Yeah. Here they are. We've got condensation on the outside because it's really warm today, which is bizarre. I've sold these Indian sort of tin musician figures. So I will pack those and get those off today. And then there's a gap and we can fill it with something else that I've listed. This is also sold yesterday evening, so that's good. Get that packed as well. What's up? Have you been left all on your own? Has Dad gone out? Come here then. Come up. Oh, okay. What do you want? How is Dad drilling? You don't like those sort of sounds, do you? Right, it's about 12 o'clock. We've had beans on toast for lunch. And um, I've listed a few bits. I'm not having a good fringe day. Um, daughter's left. She's gone. Um, and I need to take parcels to the parcel shop. And I've got two for impost, which is a pain because I've got to drive nearly all the way into Skeggy to take those so that's a bit of a pain that's one of the downsides of living in the middle of nowhere but there are lots of upsides so i think i'm going to go and get parcels done out of the way and then i can get out in the garden and my plan is to try and plant the rest of those bulbs i'm home jenny's been waiting for me dan's doing some work on the tree outside I think he's been using his little chainsaw thing and she does not like it so she's can't decide whether to be in or out can you 
So I was going to go and plant some more bulbs out the front, but I think I'm going to stay inside for a while, keep her company, finish off my book that I'm reading. It's not a great one. I can't recommend it, but um, I've nearly finished it, so I might as well finish it off. <laughs> That's what I'm reading at the moment. James Patterson, You've Been Warned. I've only got that much to go. It's not great. This one, on the other hand, I finished the other day. That is a really good book. Right, got washing over there, boots there, Katie's record player, I've got to take that with me tomorrow when I go and take off stuff. I'm going to have a Pepsi and I'm going to sit and finish my book. You don't want a Pepsi, just got to decide which sofa to sit on. <laughs> Where shall I sit? Shall I sit in the comfy recliner chair? Shall I sit in that brown sofa, the grey one, the black one, the light brown one? Conservatory is a bit warm. I'm going to sit here on this big grey fluffy one. I've got a bit of compost. I've got a little digger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call one of these things oh dear my brain i've got some bulbs and i've got an empty bucket for stones so right let's go plant some more bulbs you see the dragonfly i still have my phone with me because i'm waiting for the solicitors or tra uh estate agents or anybody to give us a ring heard nothing when was it? I did that. Was it Tuesday or Wednesday? We were rushing around. Tuesday, I think it was. Rushing around like nutters. And uh, yeah, nobody's got back to us. It's Friday. So the first time I planted bulbs, I've planted them all the way to there, to that tree, that bit. And then today I've done all this to about there. And I ran out of bulbs. So we'll see, hopefully they'll come up. And then at some point we're gonna put wild flower seeds all over this as well. vlogger again <laughs> I just got stuck into gardening and then I just you know it's just I haven't got the brain for doing two things at once who can vlog and do jobs and stuff as well I started um well I've just pulled out one plant out of one of those beds in the middle there near that cosmos see the cosmos never been in there there was a plant in there and as I pulled it out, there was loads of little bulbs. And because we're going to use those for bed, I thought, oh, I better transplant all these bulbs. So I've been doing that, along with other stuff as well. I'm um, trying something out in the air farm. I'm trying to make some chips. Dan's like, oh, I'm sure you can make chips in the air farm. I'm like, I don't know how to do it, surely. But anyway, I'm trying it. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Now I need to empty the dishwasher and do the pots. Exciting stuff going on here. Good morning. It's Saturday morning um, and we've been to the car boot farm. Could be fair, car boot sale. Um, it wasn't great, if I'm honest. Just didn't have a vibe about it, but I'll show you the bits we did. Luckily, we came across one stall and nearly everything we bought was from one stall. So here is some of it. Um, love these little planters. 
bit of Evesham. I think this is Crown Derby. Um, that's rather nice. Planter. Plastic. Still nice. <laughs> um, love this owl. It's got a real mid-century look about it, hasn't it? Bit of West German pottery. Uh, that's nice. This sugar sifter thing. Some vintage Marks and Spencers. Love this little box. I think it was Margate, I think it is. I thought that was rather nice. Um, lighthouse, glass candlesticks. Yeah, just a random collection of stuff. And then a little bit more over here. Some glassware. Um, these are my faves. Unfortunately, they're damaged, but I couldn't just let them stay. Can you see there? They've got little nicks, but how beautiful are those? Really, really lovely. It's Tuesday the 12th, I think. <laughs> I think it is of September. Um, today is a working work day. I need to tackle this. I did work all day yesterday listing on eBay, but what I need to do today is <clears throat> pricing up stuff for my antique booths so that I can clear this volume of stuff um, because we'll be going tomorrow so I can take some of it and the rest can be stored in the garage out of the way. I'm just going to pack a couple of orders, things that came overnight because I packed everything that came in during the day yesterday as I went I along. I've got all of their stuff to pack. I've got some steak forks and these little egg cups that came in the other day and then this slide projector thing. And that's it this morning. So those are packed. Oh, I sold yesterday, which is in that big red box there, that lovely sort of um, waste paper basket that I showed you the other day that I picked up. So I'll do it quickly. I've just watched George, I think he's just called George the Reseller, is he? Let's see. I've just been watching that while I, um, Reseller George. Um, yeah, while I packed my orders. I do like Reseller George, so if you have, if you like reselling content, then he's a good one to watch. Right, so I'm going to print out the labels and then I'm going to tackle that pile over there because the lights went. Basically, my plan is to go through stuff, work out which booth I want to send it to, label it up, and then box it up or whatever. It can go out of the garage, clear the space. Darren tried out the heating this morning and the only one he couldn't get on was this radiator. All the rest is fine, um, but he couldn't actually get to this to work out what's up with it. So <laughs> another reason I need to clear out all this. We don't need the heating on yet. He just wanted to make sure it was all working. You look comfy, Jenny. Are you relaxing? <laughs> I'm just taking some photos of stock ready to list and um, Bob and Darren are sorting out some stuff on the computer, Kate, uh, Port's doing some listing. So I'm just gonna take some photos. Just listed this lovely Silvac mantle vase. Um, and then I have just sold this little candlestick thing, this Delft one that I listed yesterday. So I'll get that packed and ready to go. I'm just listing this Hornsey teapot. I love it, it's so lovely. Look at that on the top. I mean, you just realised I think it's a swan on the top there. <laughs> I mean, whoever designed that beautiful thing. Hornsey coffee pot now listed on my eBay. And I think Dan's got all the teapots together. Where's he put all the teapots? <laughs> They're all gone. I thought they were over here, but I am mistaken. I better go find them. Use the whole house to store stock. Now he's been decorating in here. There's the teapot it's on the windowsill. I don't think I showed you this room, but this walls, these two walls here, were absolutely covered in like graffiti wallpaper. So Darren's just covered them with a sort of matte grey. I was going to list this yesterday, and I couldn't work out what it was because look it says little brass cat and then behind there's this which swings around i looked it up on ebay did like google lens type thing and um some people call, I, instantly i thought candle holder but then when i looked closer i just thought it sort of rounded that bit so that's a bit weird and then some people called it a pipe breast some people called it a candle holder some people one person said it was a fireside 
poker stand. I don't know how that would work. It's not going to hold it, is it? Any suggestions as to what it is? Because it's sort of rounded in the bottom, so it makes me think that it's not a candle holder. But what is it? It's a mystery. It's about two o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. Bob and Court have gone home. Darren had made us some curry for lunch. That was nice. Um, I've listed a few bits and bobs this morning and we packed things and that kind of stuff. But now, things I need to get done this afternoon. I do need to get some more stuff ready for the antique booths. That's a must. Um, I want to read a little bit. I'm going to take about half an hour out now and do a bit of reading. I finished that yesterday. It's okay. It was quite good. Better than the last one I read. And I'm going to start this one see what i think of that james patterson's just so easy it's like it's like reading a short story isn't it right i'm gonna have a uh, half an hour or so reading my book and then i'm gonna find some more stuff for my antique centers they're all trying to stay dry under the tree <laughs> Just to try and decide which of these or if any of these I'm going to take to the Antique Centre at Horncastle. I'm not sure. I don't know how much space there is at the booth, but I'm going to take these and um, hopefully get them there in one piece. <laughs> Even if you can't see them, you can definitely hear them. Earlier, two went over so low and so loud. Oh, I was just very appreciative that we don't have uh, small children and that Jenny is a little bit deaf. Tell us what planes they are and everything. Is this Court's app? Yeah, it's cool. It tells us what aeroplanes are going over at what time. Yesterday, what was it? Was that yesterday? Typhoon. Oh, this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, typhoons. Typhoons. Noisy ones. Whatever this is, it's noisy ones. It's about half past four, so I'm not doing too much more work. But this is sold. Little Spitfire aeroplane in a glass globe. I thought that would sell quite quickly. And uh, when I was at Mum's yeah, Saturday, she gave me a whole load of photos. I'm not going to show you them all, but I'll just pick out a few to show you. The others are predominantly of the kids, so I won't show you those. This is me. <laughs> I think I was about 11 years old here, 12, certainly at secondary school, judging by the uniform. Um, look at that hair. I think I'm probably going back to a similar sort of colour. Maybe not quite as red. It looks reddish, doesn't it? But anyway... That was a hilarious photo. This is me. I think I'm about 19 here. Just look very young. That was in Wainfleet, which is in Lincolnshire. That was our news agents that we had for about five, six years, I think, with Darren's parents together. That's me crossing the zebra crossing. <laughs> That's the similar time. I think it's the same day because I've got the same clothes on. It's me and Darren. Look how young we look. And then here, oh my word, look at this. This is when the boys were little, before Katie was born. And um, look how young we look. Incredible. <laughs> I thought I'd show you. In here now that Dan's put the bed back and stuff. How nice this room looks. We've just got a dehumidifier on just to make sure that the paint's drying properly. But, and these curtains, there were some hideous green curtains in here. The only room in the house that we didn't like. <laughs> the rest of the house is really nice. Um, and we picked up these curtains, I think, for the car boot. I think they were four pounds or maybe six, but they're all lined, uh, which is great. You know, like blackouts, so excellent. And then in here, Darren's put a mirror up for me. That was £2.50 from the car boot as well. What a dreary day. Really dark and drizzly. I'm not doing much more work today, but a son and his girlfriend are coming to see us tonight from Newcastle. 
so I'm going to put fresh bedding on the spare bed. Right, I had another sale this afternoon. I'm sure it must be on here. Aha! Yes, this Rington's teapot. It's an unusual colour. It's a sort of olivey green colour. But yeah, nice sale. I'm going to wrap this teapot and the um, Spitfire tonight because, as I said, my son and his girlfriend are coming. Um, they're driving down after work, so they're going to be here late tonight. Uh, so I've got to wait up. I'm normally an early to bed person. Um, so I'll pack those because tomorrow morning we're going to get off. We're going to go and show them around a little bit around Lincolnshire and take them to where I've got spaces in Antique Centre so they can see the places that I work. Um, so if I get these packed and ready to go, one less job to do in the morning. Since I've moved here on grey miserable days, we've noticed that about six o'clock in the evening, it's often the nicest part of the day. And I just looked out the back and it still looks grey and miserable, but that way, look. The amount of photographs of the sunset from my bedroom window that I've got since we moved in is uh, <laughs> getting a bit silly. Look at it. Oh, you can't really see it on that. It's cheering up. Hooray. Anyway, I'm going to round up the vlog because what I'm going to do now is sit on my backside and uh, read or watch some YouTube or whatever. Might get myself something to eat as well. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, leaving me thumbs ups and comments really helps me algorithms. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, hang on one Sorry. second. So, I don't know, a week or two ago, Nanny Gino commented in my video saying that she'd just started her channel and um, I said I'd give her a bit of a shout out and I did. And then for some reason, I, when I sent all my videos that I'd made during that day to my iPad, somehow I missed the one when I'd actually mentioned her. So it didn't, didn't make the cut. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, Nanny Gino, I'll put a link below if you want to go and give her some love. It's a new channel, so go and try it out and see what you think. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, there's links down there to Darren's gardening channel. You can see what he's been getting up to. It's not just gardening, gardening DIY, that kind of thing, and his general ramblings. Um, Lincolnshire Pickers, again, I'm getting very, 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 very close to that 1,000 subscribers. So if you could go over and give them a little subscribe, we would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I um, think that's everything. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.